Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Ruth, John, Mark, Pamela, and Patricia Ray. Home movie, 1959. These are home movies taken by my father, John S. Ray. This is in Sandusky, Ohio, at the home of my father's parents, Gertrude and Doran Ray. The Easter egg hunt. There's Mark off get it, hunting for eggs. Pamela... Cousin Lisa Wiesenhauer. And there's Ruth with baby Patricia. Yeah, nice, nice tradition, the Easter egg hunt. Easter 1959 in Sandusky, Ohio. Oh, there's Patricia. Oh, there's an egg for her. The home of Gertrude and Doran Ray on Marlboro Street. Oh, she, she wants that egg. I guess wants us. Uh, Ruth, there you go. There's your Easter egg, Patricia. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Mark's doing real well. He's getting a lot of eggs. Nice uh, shoes and uh, those ear flaps. Oh, look at all of Mark's Easter eggs. Wonderful. Pamela, and there's Lisa, cousin, the daughter of uh, Dave, and, Dave and Carol, Dave, John's uh, sister, Carol. Uh, looking for more eggs out in the yard. There's Mark, Pamela, and Lisa. There's Patricia. Yep. Enjoying herself. Oh, there's Lisa, Mark, Pamela. Let's see how many eggs they got. Oh, Pam got quite a few. Also, Mark. Yep, and uh, Lisa. Very good. Good job, children. Now, this is back in uh, Bay Village at the home, 602 Huntmere Drive. There's Patricia. Oh, a good walker. Her nice snowsuit. Nice sunny day. Oh, there she is. Very good. Cute little girl. Yeah. This would be moving into the spring, end of, uh, well, end of the win end of winter, towards spring. Oh, now this is a, oh, it's Pam and a neighbor child, looks like. Neighbor boy. Yeah. The neighborhood on Huntmere Drive, Bay Village, Ohio. Oh, Patricia has a nice doll there. Very good. The Lake Erie Junior Museum, also known today known as the uh, Lake Erie Nature and Science Center, on Wolf Road in Bay Village. This was the uh, they had a ceremony. Uh, my fa father helped. There's Alberta Fleming, the founder of this fine institution, which is still still operating. There's Ruth and Alberta. They have animal. There's Gertrude and I think the Garrett boy. They, they're still open. They have um, animals, outdoor animals. Oh, and now this, they're doing the uh, ceremony, ceremonial groundbreaking. And there's, I think they have a, a groundhog there. And that hole, Mark, with his plastic gold shovel. Nice ceremony. Yeah, they have animals, outdoor animals, like wolf and uh, bald eagle. Indoors, they have fish. Yeah, and this is the groundbreaking. Yeah. So that was a big part of our lives going over there. And they have animals that have been injured, and they take care of them. They have fish. There's Doran, John's father. Oh, they've got an animal there. Now they are they are with Alber Alberta Fleming, Mark and Pam. Not sure where they are there, where that is. I think that's yeah. I'm not sure. Nice flowers. This might be over on the east side, because. Uh, a beautiful spring day. Now that's the Cleveland Museum of Art and Weed Lagoon, east side of Cleveland. I guess they went over there. And there's Alberta Fleming. I've, or was that Aunt Olive? Not sure who that is. Yeah, east side of Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now this is at Huntington Park in Bay Village, Ohio, down by the beach, Lake Erie. Ruth sitting down and with the children, Mark, Pam, and Patricia. Nice day, sunny day, summer day at the beach, 1959. Ruth holding Patricia, waving to the camera. Nice beach in Bay Village, Huntington Beach. Yeah, there's Mark enjoying the, the sand, digging a nice hole, digging a trench. Oh, Patricia by the water with a nice sunbonnet. Yeah, enjoying Lake Erie in the summer, 1959. Ah, oh, there's Patricia. Yeah. Here are the waves, navigating the waves. Very nice. Oh, cute little girl. Let's see. Oh, 
Up, oh, up, oh, down she goes. Oh, oh. tough, tough time. <laughs> Cute little girl. By the water. Lake Erie, part of the Great Lakes. Yeah. Very nice. Waving. There's Pamela in the water. Her big sister of Patricia and my, my older sister as well. Mm -hmm. Getting, trying to get ready, used to the water. Maybe it's a little cold from the winter. Yeah, it takes a while to heat up. Nice sunny day. There's Patricia. Mark. Well, getting her balance. Oh, Mark and Pam, hand in hand. Oh, jumping up and down, having fun in the water. Whoop, stepped on something. Trying to get over the cold, <laughs> cold maybe. Oh, Patricia, enjoying the surf. Oh, now this is, I believe, uh, Pamela's uh, fifth birthday, June 19th, 1959, in the backyard at Huntmere, 602 Huntmere. A nice birthday party with a birthday cake and a lot of friends. They have the Japanese lanterns hanging out there. Got some wind. There's Ruth. Yeah, the kids' party hats. That's Lisa, cousin Lisa. Yeah. And smiling for the camera and waving. Yeah, nice birthday party. It's got a, uh, like, I think, a circus theme. Aw, God bless Pam Ray. There's Patricia again, enjoying the party. Oh, Pamela opening her presents. Very good. I wonder what she got. Uh, yeah, seeing what she got in there. Nice party hat. Mm -hmm. There she is. Nice smile. My dear sister Pamela. Oh, blowing out the candles. Mark and Pam. <laughs> Blowing out the candles on that cake. There's jo Dick and Joan, John's uh, brother Dick, his wife Joan. Yeah, there's Carol holding, uh, I think holding her, their daughter, um, Kathy. Yeah, and Dave, her husband. Oh, nice cake. Look at that. Some horses, all kinds of stuff. Pamela cutting the cake, making a wish. Nice tradition. Chocolate cake. Very good. Oh, there's, there's Carol and Kathy. Yeah. Looks like they're getting some games. Ruth organizing some games for the children in the backyard at Huntmere. Oh, okay. Birthday party games. I imagine neighborhood children came for the party. Now, there's Uncle Bud blowing up balloons for the party. Ruth's uh, brother, Bud, who was in town from uh, Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Oh, I think Pam's got more more gifts to open. Yeah, what, I wonder what she got. Oh, a nice birthday card. <laughs> yeah, she's reading. Oh, there's Blood Bud, Ruth's brother Bud, blowing balloons, doing a, doing a good job. Yeah, tying it up. There's Ruth with the children. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she's got a, like a Pamela has a, like a bracelet, I think. Oh, okay. Very good. A lot of cute children enjoying the birthday party. This might be Pam taking pictures here with her friend of her friends who came. Wow, look at that big balloon. Bud's blowing. <laughs> Doing a good job. Oh, there's Pamela and Ruth. Yep, very nice. Are they playing a game here? There's Bud. Now this is in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. That's the Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. Yeah, who have Ruth, John, Mark, Pamela, and Patricia were in Regina, and they it happened in good timing. There's Queen Elizabeth giving a speech in Regina, the capital of the province of Saskatchewan in Canada, Western Canada. And Ruth, John, Mark, Pam, and Patricia were all there. Oh, now the Queen is leaving. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip are making their departure. Oh, that's very historical. Is it? Now this is yeah the capital of there's the capital building of of, of Saskatchewan. 
This is the, uh, in Regina, the Parliament Building. Yeah, there's Patricia. and uh, Now, these are their cousins, Bud's children, Brian and Janet, are there joining. Yeah, there's the Capitol, of, Capitol Building, Legislative Building. That they're playing out in front of, uh, large grassy area. Mm -hmm. So they're getting to know their, spend some time with their, that's Janet, yeah, Bud's daughter. They're getting to know their uh, Canadian uh, cousins. And Ruth visiting her brother. And Bud and Doris and the children. There's Brian <laughs> and Mark. Now there's uh, Augusta, uh, or also known as Gus, Ruth's mother. Visiting their mother, and now they're they're at this uh, Katepwa Provincial Park, I believe, or maybe maybe not yet, but they're they're in uh, Saskatchewan. There's Augusta. Yeah, this is at this uh, Katepwa Provincial Park. They're enjoying this lake there and uh, having a good time in Saskatchewan, Canada. There's Ruth in the water. Yep, Pamela enjoying the water in the summer. Mm-hmm. Looks like this is, uh, yeah, Katepwa. Oh, and they got that big slide they set up in the lake. People could go down on, down the slide, into the water. The prairies, western Canada, the Great, the great Plains, Willa Cather country. Oh, Ruth's going to, at age uh, 35, she's going to, um, actually, 1959, she was still 34, going to, Go down this, oh, look at her go, boom, into the water. I got her hair wet. My dear mother. I wonder who was filming this. There's the close of Pam's face. There's John with a good tan. I think John's going to go up on that slide. There he goes. My dear father, John S. Ray, climbing that slide. Going to give it a go. There he goes. Waving to the camera, oh, into the water. Good job, Dad. Looks like Mark right afterward. Is he going to go in again? There, John, for a second time. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, Dad, whoa, into the water. There's Mark, whoa, into the water. Wonderful. Nothing like enjoying the water during the summer. Get outside and... Yeah, there's Mark and Pam, and there. Now that's uh, George, uh, Ruth's uh, father, George Smallshaw, my gr my grandfather. He's sitting there, in uh, that table. There's uh, looks like uh, Mark. Yeah, Gus and George, Augusta and George, Ruth's parents. Yeah, and Mark, Mark with a towel around himself, drawing off, and Pamela. Big crowd at the beach. Very good. Well, there's Ruth and Patricia enjoying the water. Ruth was rather fair-skinned, e burned easily. Ah, oh, John into the water. Yeah, they've got some buoys out there. Swimming to the buoy. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, they're playing frisbee. There's John. John S. Ray, my father. Oh, the red frisbee. Pamela throws it out there. Mark, John holding Patricia with his dad, love Frisbee. Love, or he called it the disc. Love playing Frisbee. Oh, Mark, with a, enjoying the sand, got his head covered. Oh, here comes Bud and, Bud and Janet into the water. Yep. Okay, still at this Katepwa. Oh, John and Bud going into the water. Off they go. <laughs> into the water. Mm -hmm. Very good. Waving to the camera. John and Bud. John S. Ray and Florent Herbert George Bud Small. Look at those green hills there. Real pretty. Yeah, folks enjoying the summer weather. Very tough winters in Saskatchewan. Very cold. There's John and Patricia. Yep. Beautiful water, a little wind there. Mm-hmm. Looks like it's uh, getting later in the afternoon, maybe. Nice beach. Into the water. Very good. There's Pamela. Mm-hmm. Nice little girl. 
Uh, they're trying to get a pose here. Uh, Bud, Doris, uh, Brian, and Jana. Brian seems like he has other ideas. Put him down and he's going to take off here in a minute. Off Brian goes. A lot of energy. Yeah. <laughs> Not that interesting. Hi, John. Katepwa Provincial Park. Yeah. Very good. Not too far from Regina. Mm hmm. Nice family picture. Oh, and there's this uh, bear. I think he came to eat garbage. That was, and I think they were, they were, looks like they were burning garbage, and then this bear came. So, bear is coming to eat some garbage, get some, look for some something to eat among the human leftovers. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, yeah. Oh, now they did some fishing. Yeah, look at those fish. Well, they caught some big fish. Nothing like going fishing than posing with the fish you caught. John and another fellow, and there's Mark. And uh, that's another relative there, one of, my, one of Ruth's uh, cousins. Yeah, posing with the fish. <laughs> kind of gruesome. Yeah. Anyway, well, no, I can't identify. I'm not good at identifying fish. Pamela with her father. Yep. Nice fish dinner. Good job, everybody. Now, this is, uh, yeah, Prince Albert National Park. This is way north. And uh, I, I imagine they took a long drive to the far nor northern part, way up northern part of Saskatchewan. I, I think they must have driven. Now it's time for their departure. Regina Airport saying goodbye. There's uh, uh, Augusta, Mom's. There's Ruth. Bud and Doris and Pam, all, all dressed up. In the old days, he used to wear formal clothes on airplanes. There's Bud with his coat and tie. Saying goodbye to Ruth, John, Mark, Pamela, and Patricia. We'll see you next time. Yeah, nice, nice visit with uh, Ruth, her brother, and his family, and her parents in Regina and Saskatchewan. Very good. There's, yeah, Brian's full of energy. Well, naturally, a nice little boy. Yeah, Ruth's mother, Augusta, was a very, very kind person. This is Lakeside, Ohio, at the Zook Family Reunion. <laughs> Labor Day weekend, from Friday night to, uh, there's Helen and great-grandma Zook, uh, Dora, and this is, uh, there's John on the porch, sitting down, and his grandmother, different relatives, Patricia out on the sidewalk, Mark sitting down, uh, uh, John's father, parents, it's basically John's, my dad's, oh, John with a nice cigar. <laughs> There's Helen, John's father's, J John's mother's sister. Yeah, the relative. Now this is back, first day of school, Pamela's first, I think her first day of kindergarten. And she was very f popular, had a lot of friends. Oh, nice red and white outfit. Uh, walking up Huntmere toward Wolf Road, and she's going to collect a number of her friends. And then they can walk to the bus stop together on Wolf Road to take the school bus to school. First day of school. That's a traditional, very traditional taking movies of the kids in their outfits going to school. More friends. Yeah, see, I told you she's got all these friends. A lot of kids. Uh, yeah, they're all getting on the bus now. Hope you have a good day at school, Pam. First day of school, 1959, September early September. There's the school bus. Wolf Road. Looks like it's, tra yeah, it's traveling in a, well, I think an easterly direction. Down Wolf Road. Very good. Oh, now it's that, now they're home for the end of the school day, I think. Time to go home. I think she had a half day of school. Well, that concludes today's presentation. You might consider checking out our website, Adventures in History, with Peter J. Ray at peterjray.com. So far, we've made 683 history videos in seven areas. 
world history, American history, book reviews, poetic tours, Cleveland baseball, family history, and autobiography. There's a donate feature. You might consider making a donation so we can continue making these videos. If you live in Metro Manila, Philippines, and are, excuse me, looking for a high school, you might consider Restless Educational Center. Restless is located on Allenby Street, also known as the Inclined Plain, not far from the corner of P. Guevara and Wilson Street in Barangay Maytuna, San Juan, Metro Manila, Philippines. Uh, at Restless, we specialize in helping young people who have had difficulty in the larger traditional high schools. We're more than a school, we're a warm, supportive community, and we strive to be uh, innovative and creative. The website is restless.education, R E S A L E S T. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.